Hey guys, this is Jessica from Korea Now. Today is a big day in South Korea. President Yoon se gyeol began his five-year term at midnight, and following his inauguration, uh, the Cheongwa Day opened to the public in line with Yoon's promise to relocate the top office. So as you can see, the historic site is crowded with people having a tour and taking pictures. So why don't we go explore the secluded compound? Let's go. Cheongwa Day. Located at the foot of Mount Pugak behind the Gyeongbu Palace, has been the venue of the presidential office and residence since the South Korean government was established in 1948. This building here is the main office building. You've probably seen it on our channel multiple times because it's the president's office and a reception hall for foreign diplomats. This house, known as Yongbin-gwan, was used to host official events such as performances and banquets for heads of state, presidents, or prime ministers of foreign countries. Lukjiwon is known as the most beautiful garden in the Cheongha Day. It's home to some 120 species of trees as well as commemorative trees planted by former presidents. Also, the mountain sitting behind Cheongha Day will fully open to the public after being closed for decades for security reasons. 태어나서 이렇게 청와대라는 곳에 처음 오게 되었는데 진짜 어 그냥 우리 나라의 대통령이 이런 곳에서 일하고 있구나 약간 좀 친근감이 느껴졌습니다. 저 상춘제 쪽에서 앞쪽 공원 있는 쪽이 보기도 좋고 오늘 제일 좋았던 것 같아요. 되게 외국 관광객들도 많이 와서 보면은 굉장히 좋아할 것 같습니다. 이게 국민의 품으로 이렇게 돌려주는 상당히 그저 의미가 대단합니다. 앞으로 이제 이게 개방이 돼가지고 해외에서 이 문화재를 해가지고 계속 몰려드는 하나의 대한민국의 한류 문화가 형성되는 그런 계기가 됐으면 좋겠네요. 어. So it took a good two hours to look around the Cheongha Day. But the inside of the buildings will be off limits until all the sensitive documents are removed. Cheongha Day will be open to anyone who has made online reservations in advance, so if you're planning to visit Korea, I recommend you add it onto your list of destinations. Alright, this was Jessica from Korea Now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest news on Korea.